There you are. No time to lose. A footprint, a timeless clue for the classic spy. But what about this? A digital footprint. And you may be wondering, what is a digital footprint? Well, to keep it plain and simple, it's the online version of you. And it's not just your Facebook profile. It's everything. Posts, pictures, blogs, purchases, downloads, uploads, everything. No better place to study the digital footprint than in school. 21st century teenagers are exposed to more forms of digital communication and capture of information than any other generation before them. Heads up, take a look. What you're seeing is just a glimpse at each person's digital footprint, what they leave behind online and what others are saying about them. The most crucial part of being a spy? Knowing what others know about you. And that means keeping up with your online persona. A few things to keep in mind. There's no sense in applying for those colleges or jobs you want if you have things like this online. Oh my God. Uh. Fact, 78% of employers use search engines online to find out about you. The internet is forever. My advice, respect the internet and treat people the same online as you would in person. Also, don't let others post things for you. Don't participate in activities that you don't want everybody else finding out about. Because every good spy knows, there's always someone watching. I'll take that. And keep private information private. As a spy, we're taught to trust nobody. You wouldn't talk to just anyone in person. So don't do it online. Did I mention that recording and posting this is just as bad, if not worse? Never forget, be responsible for what you post. And finally, work to build your own positive online image. Remember, you're more than just a profile, you're a person, so don't let yourself be profiled wrong. So follow these guidelines and you'll be safe in the field. This is your mission now, get going.